everyone. This is Angela, and you're listening to Homeschool Unrefined, the podcast where we keep homeschool simple, real, and fun. And this is Marin. You have got a bonus episode today, a holiday gift guide for you. And we are going to get right to it today. Yeah. Um, we're we are. so excited about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to share this with you. We've got a lot right. of great ideas. Right. So these are things for you, the homeschool parent or the mm-hmm. parent, the adult, yep. um, because a lot of times we can forget about ourselves in the holiday season and in life. Yes. <laughs> um, and so we always encourage you to take care of yourself. And this is another way you can do that. So um, if there is someone in your life who asks you what you want for the holidays or for a gift, um, you can think about yeah. you should think about your own list and things that you might enjoy or maybe you are the type of person who buys those things for yourself and wraps them up and you know gives them to yourself yep um, <laughs> be that person I say. it's fine yeah do it. do it yeah um so here yeah. are some ideas of things that we are thinking about but we are encouraging you to come up with your own list definitely I really do think we as parents uh around the holiday season you know be turn into the giver we really are the givers during this time and how amazing way to go well, everyone you know yeah it's so great just like I think it's so important for us to remember ourselves too during this time so we don't lose ourselves in this during this holiday season too we can be part for of sure. the enjoyment of receiving too right so a lot of these items are going to be in our Amazon shops. You can find them there. Some are not. They're not all from Amazon. So mm. um, we'll put links in the show notes and on our website so you can find them if you're interested. And a lot of these are uh, bigger ticket items. Um, when uh, Marn and I both like thought about our past year and like what's really helping us right now or what mm. we kind of can't live without, these are the things. So I was just saying before we got on, these are kind of like, this is an episode of all LTWs, basically. LTWs of the year, probably. LTWs of the yeah. year for each of us. <laughs> Basically, um, like Oprah's favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> Homeschool, under five <laughs> style. <laughs> We're basically Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much. I did um, see Oprah also, was on Amazon talking about her so, favorite things. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, we're pretty much the same. Um, but also, I thought of when I think of uh, things to ask for for Christmas or any holiday, my birthday, whatever, there are things that I would not normally put, you know, push the button on, like do it. Like there are the things that I would be like, you know, I would salivate after these on these things. Like I, these are the things that pop up in my Instagram feed and like, you know, you want these things. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I want those things. But then like, I never do it because they, it seems like too much. I shouldn't be doing this for myself. I'm not going to do these things, but this is your time to ask for those things. This is your time. And you'll notice, you'll notice with our list, we each came up with five things and um, (laughs) they are like super um, indicative of our personalities because mine are like really introverted, specific (laughs) introverted things, specific items. Mm -hmm. And Marin has like more of like idea categories (laughs) and they're all like really extroverted. (laughs) So I think you're right about that. You'll find there's something for everyone. It really <laughs> in is this here. list mm-hmm. yeah okay oh and these are things that we've already we either already have or we really want and they're right. uh, yes yeah. exactly yeah. a lot of these things I have and a lot of these things I still want yeah, <laughs> or, yeah. yeah. okay yeah exactly yeah. all right let's get to it okay Angela Do why, you wanna... you, why don't you start oh, with your first one I'll start well, this is my biggest one of this is like saving my life it's my favorite thing ever uh it wow. is grocery delivery oh <laughs> Yes, please. I, as I reflect on the changes in my life in the past, say, 10 years, Mm -hmm. this has been the biggest game changer for me. Um, Seriously. And I think I started doing it, I don't know, two years ago, but I don't know how I lived without it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know how I lived without it. And I feel like it was hard for me. I (laughs) have a hard time going to the grocery store or to any store. Um, The stimulation gives me a headache. Mm -hmm. So I get a headache like every time I go. And I'm out for the rest of the day. Then you come home and unpack and it's like, well, that was my activity for the day. Totally. (laughs) You know? Totally. I remember when my kids were little, um, yeah, grocery shopping was a one day a week activity. Like, it was like, well, Mondays, that's what I do. Uh, Or whatever day it was. Totally. (laughs) Yep. 
And my life is not like that anymore. And I really, really enjoy it. The yeah. other thing I like about this is I save so much money, and which is counterintuitive. Yeah. Because the subscription costs money, and then I tip the drivers, tip the shoppers. Yep. So it seems like you wouldn't save money, but um, I stick to a list Yeah. when I shop online. Exactly. I <laughs> Just not list. walking into a store is, I know. saves you money. <laughs> I know. So I... I went to, I went into Target, I don't know, I think three weeks or four weeks ago, because I had to get a few things. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why I didn't do this online, but I, I went yeah, to Target. Yeah. I went in and I came out like $300 later. And I was just like, this is proof. I, I needed yes. this proof that I didn't stick to my list and I spent way more, way more than I thought. Now, these were all totally. things I think I needed. Right. <laughs> I just didn't know. Until I got into the store. <laughs> Until you saw it on the shelf. Like, I think I need that. I do need that. And I mean, so maybe I would have bought them later. I don't know. But mm -hmm. it just, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It was just confirmation for me that um, doing the online grocery shopping saves me money. Totally. Oh, it's so, so true. And for me, it's, um, it's not necessarily, you know, the lights or the stimulation or, you know, getting out. But it, for me, it's the uh, doing a task that I don't like, the mundane mm. task of doing it. Like, you'd be doing yeah. so many more things that I enjoy <laughs> than right. doing that. And it just, it is such a downer for me. It is, I realize I've done it for, I, these are, this is what I dreamed of when my kids were little, <laughs> to, you know, to have a delivery yeah. service. I just, yeah. it's all I wanted in life. And mm -hmm. it is to have it here, and it's so accessible now. Yep. And it you're right, it saves money. So it seems like a no brainer. Right. So I have a couple different options. Mm -hmm. Um I do I do all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm actually gonna cancel one coming okay. up here. Okay. Because I, I think it's a little overkill. But um <laughs> Instacart yes. and shipped. Yep. Those are both ninety nine dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Uh shipped is also is at Target. So you can also get your Target items there, yep. which is just really handy. And shipped um, now, like I've gone to other cities as I'm traveling, and shipped yep. does a lots of other places now too mm, around yeah, in the area, right. like lots right. of other grocery stores. Probably like a pet a pet store, yeah, too, which is awesome. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, yep. And then also, um, I do do also Amazon Prime now. Um, mm -hmm. so if you are an Amazon Prime member, you already have this for free. Mm -hmm. And so you should take advantage of it. Which it is less, or uh, not not less convenient. What's the word? Less, um, you can't user really. User friendly. Less user friendly. Yep. yep. Um, you can't, like, there's not a lot of back and forth with the shopper. The shopper right. is not the same as the delivery person. And so when I tip, I don't really know who I'm tipping. I think I'm just tipping the driver. So sure. the advantage there is I can tip a little less. Gotcha. Um, but the great thing is that on Amazon Prime now, you can also order through Whole Foods. Yeah, you can order Which Whole Foods nice. or Amazon. Or Amazon. But there are specific yeah. items. It's limited. I just, yeah. Oh, I just thanks. did this this morning. Um, I made chili this morning in the crock pot, and I didn't have chili powder. Uh, like, like the one thing you, you need, need that. when you yeah. make chili. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh, I should I could run to the store to just grab chili powder. But then I was like, well, I could do Amazon Prime now. See mm. what else I could get. And I just had, I, you have to get a minimum order of $35. Yeah. Which is kind of easy. Yeah, so I did that. So I just, this is like saving my sanity. It's my mm -hmm. favorite thing ever. Yes. And you know what? If you aren't interested in biting the bullet on a subscription, you could also do the pickup for free. I would have loved totally. grocery pickup Ugh. also when my kids were little. I mean, that is also amazing. Absolutely. So, and a lot of places are offering that for free now. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good option. All right, Maren, what's your first thing? Okay, so my first thing is, um, well, I this is my category, clothes and shoes. Okay. But I'm going to get more specific here. My, what I would pick is probably something from Athleta. It's my favorite, if it's my favorite store to shop from um, because of the quality of product and they are a B Corp, so they're like very ethic, they're an ethical company. Um, mm -hmm. And then also... Uh, they have this like a lifetime guarantee on all their clothes. Like if you are never dissatisfied, if you're never, if you're ever dissatisfied with their clothes, you can return them with like mm -hmm. no questions asked, which I love. And they and their leggings, and we've talked about this on our LTWs and lots of other places, but their leggings are my favorite. It's mm -hmm. the salutation stash pocket leggings, 
they are definitely an investment. They're, Mm -hmm. they're expensive. And so that's something that like, I don't know that I, you know, would, if I've never bought these before, I don't know if I'd pull the trigger on it unless it was like a special holiday and then you could ask for them and get them. (laughs) This is like Mm -hmm. a good time to, to ask for them because it's a splurge. Mm Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, and then also, you know, Athleta, then once you start shopping at Athleta, they'll show you all the, your, the, all their great things on your Instagram feed. And I, I found so many great, I like, I gush over their clothes. I just really do. They look so comfy. And so like I could wear them everywhere, uh, everywhere. Mm-hmm. I could wear them out exercising. I could wear them out, you know, at home lounging all day and they look good. They really mm-hmm. look good. They don't look like you're lounging. It doesn't look like lounging clothes. It looks really nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is, that's, that was on my list last year and it's going to be on my list this year <laughs> for sure. So I would say find like whatever store you like to shop at yep. and you could yes. get a gift gift card or something to yeah. that store. Or pick whatever is your you store. Want. Send or the, the link. Thing. Yep. <laughs> to yourself or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just like, this is what I want. I think it's good to say. It's okay to say specifically, this is what I want. Yeah. This is <laughs> really what I good. want. Yep. Um, yeah. And I also, I do the same thing for shoes or boots. I'm not even in cold climates right now, but I am getting like this. I I get an urge to buy boots this time of year. <laughs> I don't need them, but <laughs> I would. I often put like a good pair of boots on my list. Sorrels. Are you talking about a fashion boots or like kind of boots? like in between? If I were in Minnesota, mm-hmm. I'd get some fashion winter boots. Okay, right now, yeah. some sorrels probably, yeah. or now the the Rothies, those look great. I've wanted a pair of those for a while, and I, I they haven't have boots. Um, no, well, they have they have shoes, but they have okay. like a cute new little kind of high top shoe that looks great. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, or whatever, whatever kind of shoe is the thing that you're like, you know, they're they're expensive. I'm not gonna buy those. Mm hmm. That's what you should put on your list. Yeah. And then I also just have to put a plug in for eBay here because if you know, if you've gone and tried on the shoes that you really like, but they're still so expensive and you're just not, this is not, you know, in your price range, in your family's price range. Um, eBay is such a good option. I have bought so many things on eBay after trying on what I want and knowing the size and exactly what I want, going to eBay is such a good option. Yes, it really is. Mm-hmm. Um, I yeah, I would I would just highly suggest that. I believe you, and I need to use that more. Yeah, you do. Yes, it, do. Yeah, it's great. There, it's there's so many most uh, most of the. I mean, I actually only buy now things. It's like the buy now option, so you're never yeah. in a an auction anymore, or you don't have right. you don't have to be, which right. is kind of okay. not the fun part. But right anyway, okay. Okay, Angela, uh, I w- how about you? I was going to, I just want to mention oh, yes. um, when you talked about the leggings from Athleta, mm-hmm. um, there is a knockoff version on Amazon that yes. I have bought for myself and my girls. It's called, they're from the brand Yogalicious mm-hmm. and they're high waisted pocket, stash pocket. I don't know if they call it stash pocket, but high waisted pocket um, leggings. And I will put a link to those in our show notes too because yes. um, they're, they're just like yeah. the Athleta ones, yep. just maybe not as high quality. Right. They might not last as long, but they'll... They feel the same though, don't they? They, they feel, feel the same. They do soft. this. They have the pocket. Yeah. They look the same. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's a great option. It really yep. is. I love those yep. too. Okay. Okay. How about you next? Okay. So speaking of shoes, this mm. is one pair of slippers that I love. Um, They are, (laughs) um, I have plantar fasciitis. I feel really old Mm. saying that, but you know, know in the last like two years, well, I didn't even know what it was (laughs) till like two years ago. I was like, why does my heel hurt? Why am I hobbling around? Can I tell you this? I thought I told you this. It's your, what is plantar fasciitis? Your left, it's your heel? It's like a tendon in your, that goes from like, Okay, I don't really know. Okay. I'm just going to okay. say what I think it is. There's like a tendon that goes from your heel like up through your yes, arch yes. kind of. I think you're right. Yes. Yeah. Um and it happens to a lot of people when they pulled. get older. 
kind of it gets right? cold yep. and it gets sore and once you get it like once you feel that pain it's hard to get rid of it you oh. have to do lots of like therapy and yeah like i know my mom has had it yeah. and i've seen the effects of that and i've like i do not want to to make I don't want this to become a problem yep, for me yep. and it was becoming a problem because like it right when you wake up in the morning your foot is very tight and so then you're like hobbling hobbling until you like until it warms up yes, and so anyway for sure I saw this what is he called <laughs> foot specialist oh, yeah he's not a doctor but he works at the the Schuler shoes oh you yes. know he's like a podiatrist he's like a Podi- uh, pod- oh, yeah podiatrist Something. It's not podiatrist. It's not podiatrist. They have Podia a diet specialist. No, yeah, something like that. This okay. guy, and so he was super helpful. And he said, "You need to get these slippers, and or or you need to get um. Where are you? Where are you spending the most of your time?" And I said, "Well, mm-hmm. at home." And he's like, "Okay, then you should get these slippers, um, and wear them around all the time. Mm-hmm. And they're Hellfinger slippers. So these Ooh, are yes." Those like high quality. They're $124. Yep. <laughs> they're really expensive, but I yep. believed him. And it, mine is the Hellfinger Unisex Clog. Does not okay. sound very trendy, but <laughs> that's the name of it. Um, it's on Amazon, so I'll put a link. But yeah, I've been wearing these for a year and my plantar fasciitis is gone. I no longer really? have. Really? Yeah. And I'm only wearing them in the house. Yep. I'm wearing them all <gasps> over in the house, but that's it. And that's amazing. it's gone, which is yep. really unbelievable. So wow. I am sold on these. I think it like, I don't know, supports your foot with like good arch support. And, mm-hmm. I don't know. That's so great. Like, and you probably shouldn't be walking around your house barefoot anyway, which is what I was doing or like in socks. And I guess that's a no, no. I don't know. So I got a pair of these on yes. eBay. Yes, I know. Yeah. So and here's they were the story. probably twenty to thirty dollars. So I know they're not I, as cute as yours. They're a little yeah, they older. Are. I think they're an older version, probably. Okay. But they were never used, so it was. It I know. Out great. So I bought mine, and then like yeah. two weeks later, I saw Myron had some, and I was like, "What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got the same slippers as me? Because like they kind of look." I mean, at first I thought they were like old person slippers, but now that I have them, I think they're cute <laughs> and they look like me, but maybe they're just for people my age. I don't know. Whatever. And I, so I was surprised to see you wearing them and you're like, yeah, I got them on eBay. And I was like, what? I spent like over a hundred dollars for these slippers. <laughs> so. Well, the difference was, you know, goes. I wasn't in a hurry to get them. You know, if it's something you need right away, go. Yeah. I think it was great that you got them. When you, I did not when think did. to buy slippers on eBay. I would have never thought of them. Well, oh, though it's like okay, <laughs> on eBay, it's like the high quality things like that yeah. that are great to get on eBay because people who buy those things really take care of them well for the mm-hmm. most part, mm-hmm. and they last forever. Yeah, they like hardly ever you know go bad. So yeah, if you can get Good for you yeah. anyway. All right, Myron, what's your next item? Okay, what is my next item? Let me look here. Uh, oh, yes. So <laughs> this is where my extrovertedness probably comes in a little bit. Um, but um, self-care membership is my mm. next thing. A self-care membership. And I love this because it's the gift that keeps on giving all year. <laughs> it really is. These are things you can use monthly. You know, it's like a monthly subscription to something that you're really excited about. Or that just... Uh, helps you feel renewed, may help you feel healthier. Um, for example, it might this might this might not be the ex- most exciting one to start with, but a chiropractor. I mean, this is something that might just feel really good for you, and it's the thing that uh, helps you ha- be happier. <laughs> you know, you get a chiropractor appointment, and then you're just like, I'm good to go for a while. Or a facial, a monthly facial at a spa. Um, I've been going to this float pod. I, if I got a monthly subscription to the float pod, I'd be mm. so happy this year. Mm-hmm. Hint, hint. If my husband's listening to this, probably not. Um, or a movie movie membership, like the AMC movies movie membership, would be mm. a great one if you're into going to movies. And now you might be into going to movies, but you're like, I. I'm not taking time out. I just don't do that for myself. I don't take time out and go to the movies, you know, by myself. Or I just don't enjoy movies at the movie theater anymore because I'm a mom and I hate being away and I hate, you know, it's just too hard. Well, if you have a a movie membership, maybe that's the thing that helps you get out the door Mm. once a month or whatever, Mm -hmm. a couple times a month or whatever to go see these movies that you've, you know, put on your list. Um, Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Or it could be an activity membership. It could be like, I need power, yo- you know, core power yoga. And it's my thing. It's what I love to do. I've just, I've never allowed myself to, you know, get into the routine of doing it because it's expensive and it takes time away from home. Well, you have a membership, you're more likely to do it. And it, yeah. it was a gift. So, yeah. you know, those things put together, maybe the maybe the thing that tips you over the edge to do these things more and just think of your just think of 2020 when you're mm-hmm. doing core power yoga or whatever it is that you love to do rock climbing yeah. you know if that's your if that's something you've loved to do you just let it go you know put it on your list and make it happen that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I just, you reminded me of the thing that saved me when my kids were little, which was our YMCA membership. Oh. And they have, you know, free childcare. Seriously. And it would open How at cool. eight in the morning <laughs> and my kids would get up at like six. So I'd be like knocking the down their door at eight. <laughs> like I'd be the first one to show up, mm-hmm. drop the kids off and they had like a two hour limit. Mm-hmm. And I would, you know, go to a class or something and then sit down. <laughs> for yeah, a while on I the know. couches I remember I used just to just take a shower at the YMCA it was yeah. like the only time I could take a shower because somebody was watching my kids uh, yeah honestly we um, did that every morning another thing now would that would be great if anybody would enjoy this is the Headspace app that's a mm. great membership to have um, yes. because it's at your fingertips and you can take five or ten minutes whenever you need it throughout the day um, or the, um, the yoga app that I have, I love that, that I think it's from Gaim. Oh yeah. Yep. So is that a paid one? It's a paid pay one. For yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a gotcha. monthly pay. So, I mean, these are things that you might not think about as being put, you know, to put on your list, a membership, a subscription, an app, but mm-hmm. they could help you through the, uh, the whole year and you for might sure. be a really happy, much happier person, <laughs> you sure. know, that's a good one. Yeah. That is a good one. Okay. How about you? All right. All right. My next thing is if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me using this this summer. This like kind of changed my summer and it's an inflatable (laughs) kayak. Uh, (laughs) And I just have to tell you, this is like you were saying at the beginning of the episode, that thing that I like salivated over. I salivated Mm. over a kayak for a few years (laughs) and I just, I didn't know how I was, I knew I wanted to kayak, but I didn't know how to make yeah. this happen. Yeah. Um, we live in Minnesota. There are lakes everywhere. I have a lake, you know, two blocks away from my house. Yeah. And I um, logistically didn't know how to get a kayak from my house to the lake. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Because what do you put it on top of your car? Do you put it in your car? Well, usually they're too big. Do you get a trailer? This is just too much work, you know? Mm -hmm. And so this was my mentality. And then these inflatable, like they have inflatable kayaks, inflatable. um, I know. What are those things called? Paddle boards. Yes. And I knew, I knew of people who were using them. And um, I knew of a woman who used this inflatable kayak and she really convinced me. And Mm. it was $60 on Amazon. That is amazing. So like, I don't know what why I was hemming and hawing about this because it's just like I should just try it for that price right so I bought this inflatable kayak and the good thing about it is it's light enough where I can easily just put it into my minivan I mean I put the back seats down I like decline the back seats just a little bit yeah and then I can put it in and because it's inflatable it's kind of flexible a little bit yeah right (laughs) so like I can close the cover so anyways it fits in my minivan easily just like you know it's so easy to do and then I take it out when I get to the lake and I get in I was wondering if I was wondering if you walked to the lake with that thing no (laughs) I could though it's that light (laughs) okay Okay. (laughs) that and then and then I just, when I get out of the lake, I wipe it off with a towel and then I put it back in the minivan. And then what I did is I just left it inflated all summer in my garage. Mm. You are supposed to, it says in the directions, like deflate and inflate every time. And the woman who I, the friend I know who has this, that's what she does. Mm. But that seemed like an extra 10 minutes that I didn't need. And so (laughs) I just kept it inflated in my um, garage all summer. And it was just so easy for me to go kayaking. So awesome. This is not a kayak that you would use in an ocean or like a high wave situation or a race, but mm-hmm. for just tooling around your a lake or <laughs> it's just so nice. And I they also have a two person kayak that was like twenty dollars more. And I 
debated whether I should get that one. Wow. And I didn't. I got the one person. But uh, um, I could probably go back and get the two person if I wanted. But I kind of like that I only have one and like nobody else can go with me. Yeah. And it's just a thing that (laughs) I can do for myself. Because if I had the two person, then somebody else would come with me. Mm -hmm. Which I would like to show them all of this, but also... I this like is your alone, thing. So. Yeah. This is how you're getting your alone time. Yeah. So it's on Amazon. So I just checked. It's it's seventy dollars now, mm. but it was sixty when I got it. I think I got it on sale. I am sure these things are gonna be on sale again. Mm-hmm. Like for Black Friday or something. Oh, so. Totally. Totally. So yeah. I want one All of right. those. It's on my list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you move back. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Myron, what <laughs> is next for you? Okay. Um, the next thing for me, this kind of goes along with a kayak, which is just any, any kind of gear that helps Mm. you do the thing you love to do. Um, for me in the past, um, and you may have heard me talk about these things, my smart water bottle. I love that Mm. because Mm -hmm. it helps me. I bring it everywhere with me. It helps me hike. It helps, you know, it just, and, and I get to see how much I'm, um, drinking and I drink a lot more water. Um, sometimes, mm-hmm. oh, another one that I've, I'm sure I've talked about is my Apple watch. <clears throat> I'm I don't know my, if you've talked about that here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I, I'm loving my Apple watch. Um, it is, has, uh, it's so great. It's a fitness tracker, which I so appreciate. Um, I definitely am more active every, I've been more active since I bought my Apple watch than I, I mean, I'm like probably double as active. <laughs> since I bought my app, my Apple Watch because I like to see that number. I like to see my rings close. It's real important to me. <laughs> so I I mean, I just love that. Um, it also tracks my sleep, mm. which is really important to me, always has been. Um, but I like to always have that number um, in the credit. I like to have a sleep credit. When you mm. have slept enough, you have a sleep credit, which really? I okay. <laughs> see. I just love these words of confirmation. Good job, Marin. I love all the praise. Um, yeah. So there's, I mean, what else do I love? I don't know. There's just so many things on my Apple watch. I like having my Apple watch because then I don't have to have my phone near me all the time. I can just, yeah. um, I don't look at my phone as much. So I just appreciate right. that. Some other gear that I think would be so great. If whatever, whatever is your thing that you love to do, get gear for it. It makes it so much easier to do the thing you love to do. Hiking shoes um, is huge. That would be so, mm-hmm. it's such a great thing to ask for because it, you might not buy those on your own. Mm-hmm. I could see people, you know, like you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself hiking shoes, but they're so great to have. Um, Maybe it's for you at skis or a surfboard or, you know, a belay rope for <laughs> rock climbing or a yoga mat or something like that. Um, but any kind of gear that helps you get out and do the thing you like to do. Or maybe for you, you know, I'm thinking like active gear, but maybe for you it's watercolors or, mm-hmm. you know, canvases. And when you, because I do, I just think when you have the things at your fingertips, it's they're right there so much easier to, you know the next time you say oh I should really do this thing well y- the stuff is there so yeah it's one less excuse <laughs> you yep. know to have so That's and we're great. all about doing the things you like to do that is so great mm-hmm. that is so great Myron I love oh, it. Oh, and you know what I just thought of? The other gear, <laughs> well, this helped, I mean, or a walking stick. I know, you know, like yeah. you were talking about that helped your son. I mean, I think that helps with hiking too, a lot, with a lot of people. It helps with my daughter right now It's too. motivating. So it's motivating. Just anything, I feel like the thing that you, that helps you enjoy, enjoy that activity more is, yep. is worth getting, worth doing, mm-hmm. worth having. Mm-hmm. So. All right, my next okay. item is yes. my uh, AirPods mm. because this is like you were talking about gear. This is my gear. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. This is the thing that helps me do my thing, which is introverting during the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I am loving my AirPods because I am able to, if I have a, if I have ten minutes and I want to get into a different kind of headspace. Yes. If I want to try and like ignore the chaos around me, but like get into a podcast or an audiobook, this is allowing me to do that. Mm-hmm. And I love it because I don't have to have my phone on me like I did with a corded headphones. Mm. And also like 
you know, a lot of us, if you're homeschooling, you're probably walking around your kitchen a lot. My cord gets like hooked on everything in my kitchen. Yeah. And then my phone and earbuds like fly out, fly everywhere. Yes. That was actually my, that was actually my impetus for getting the, the AirPods <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was that because I was so tired of that. Um, yep. But I love these so much and I'm able to hands-free call my husband from the car if I need to. Oh or like, I can't make phone calls without my AirPods anymore. Yeah, I walk can't. around the house while you're calling. Like, holding yeah, a phone holding to my the head. Phone to, I, I know. Can't believe I did that. AirPods. They're probably my number one biggest. Well, it's hard to say number one. I know I said that about the grocery <laughs> subscription, but these are they're like neck and neck for my number one favorite uh, thing. <laughs> they're so, but they're both so good to have. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely. All right. Okay. My next thing is, and this is going to be a bit, this is maybe a bigger ticket item. It's a plane ticket. Or <laughs> I would say an Airbnb or something for mm. you, for yourself. Mm. Um, so think about this and, and, you know, maybe it's something that you want to do with your spouse or with your, you know, friends or whatever. But like m- my point here is put on your list something that helps you get away, get mm. away f- um, and, you know, take time for yourself and do what you need to do. Um, I know recently you've, you got an Airbnb for a weekend, right? I did. And I did for myself. Yeah. For yourself. Just you. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think this is something that it just seems like that it's, you probably wouldn't, I mean, many people would not do that for themselves, No. but if you got no. it for a gift, you would definitely, you'd have to, you'd have to do it. <laughs> I, Same with a yeah. plane ticket. Like you would probably not know. buy that for yourself and just I go know. somewhere and relax for a weekend or whatever. But if you got it as a gift, you'd have you to might. do it. Yeah. I, it was hard for me to book an Airbnb just Mm. for myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, even me who I know I talked about this on the last episode, but um, I really believe in, you know, caring for yourself um, and taking long stretches to do that. But it was still it was still a challenge for me to do that. Uh, I don't know why. So it shouldn't be. It's hard. It's hard to do things for yourself. It just really is. Yeah. Um, The other cheaper or free version of this would be you stay home and your spouse takes kids like to grandparents or something. Mm, yes. Um I think. And sometimes just that is that in itself is such a gift. <laughs> such a gift. It's just the planning of it and making it happen. Like this is what yeah. is going to happen. Mhm. Yeah. <sighs> and then I would say like uh set a date on that if you get that. <laughs> like set that date. Make make that make put it on the calendar so it actually happens because I know sometimes we plan those things then we're like yeah that'll we'll get to that but it's never really a good time or you know if it's not on the calendar it's it's less likely to happen so yeah do yeah. it as uh, soon at least get it on the calendar soon yes I agree good one that's a good one yep yep okay how about you all Angela right. all right my last one is the thing I have been loving for Years, five mm. years, wow. I think, and that is my Kindle Paperwhite. Mm. Um, this I think I talked about this <laughs> on one of our first episodes. I feel like this saved. I don't want to say saved my marriage. That is so dramatic. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> but saved our night, like eliminated our nighttime struggles. Yeah, like Jeremy and I's nighttime struggles. Yeah, because I the Kindle Paperwhite, you can read a book at night without a lamp. Right. Or any kind of light shining And anywhere. the screen isn't bright either. And right? the screen for, is not bright. Yeah, for right. anybody else. So I don't need, I cannot do like an iPad because that hurts my eyes at night. Mm-hmm. And I, that blue light keeps me awake. Mm-hmm. So the Kindle Paperwhite is perfect. Jeremy, I can do it anytime he can fall asleep. Mm-hmm. If I wake up in the middle of the night and like can't fall asleep, I can take it out, read, and he doesn't wake up. It's not a bright light at all. Wow. And so I love this. I love it because I can get library books delivered wirelessly to my Kindle instantly. (laughs) Instantly. I just, I know you're, I know the downside is you're not like feeling a real book in your hands, but I feel like that is so minimal (laughs) for me. That is just, I don't know. My Kindle Paperwhite's amazing. I've had the same one for years um, and I just checked and that one it, they still sell it and it's $90. So the prices come down, mm. but there's the new one 
that you got Mm -hmm. that you talked about a few episodes ago yes that I kind of want because Mm -hmm. it has audiobooks on it too Mm -hmm. you can listen to audiobooks and they can sync so like you can listen to an audiobook up until chapter two and then you can pick up your kindle again at chapter two and that sounds really amazing and I kind of want it but I I don't know if I'll be able to justify it but I I do kind of want it so um and that one's a lot more expensive. I think that's two fifty, right no. now. No, but it was on sale. It was on sale. That's not yeah. how much I paid at all. That's wow. not. You must have got it on. Really? I did get a deal. I got it on the Amazon days. Amazon days. Yeah, but yeah. it was so, not that much. Wow. Yeah, so don't buy it for two fifty. Maybe till Black, Black Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah, wait till Black Friday because yes. I bet it's going to come way down. But I hope so. Anyway, yes, that is my um. I, I don't know. I I don't I know. I, I it has changed my reading life and changed yeah. my bedtime routine and changed everything. I love it so much. I always think of when you say I read a book, I picture you reading it on a Kindle. Cuz you read yep. cuz you use your Kindle so much. Accurate. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your last one, Mara? Okay, my last one is uh babysitter cash. <laughs> or babysitter setup, like set up mm. a babysitter system mm-hmm. with other mm-hmm. people. Um, and so I think this is so important. And I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have babysitters, especially when my kids were younger. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have to tell you, we had no money. We were making zero dollars when my kids <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> we were losing money. Um, you know, my husband was starting a business and we had no income. And so we were, we were scrapping money together, you know, to pay for groceries. And yet, um, Sean really encouraged me. He's like, I know we're not going to use credit cards for stuff, except like, I'd be willing to put, like, I'd be willing to go into debt for babysitters. (laughs) <laughs> because I think, you know, I wouldn't have done this for myself, but because he was so strongly adamant about spending the money on babysitters, we did it. And it saved my sanity <laughs> when I mm-hmm. when my kids were younger. Um, I, I don't know what I would have done. We did it once a week for, I think, two hours. One afternoon yeah. a week for two hours, I would go to a coffee shop or something and just Mm -hmm. not be a parent for two Mm -hmm. hours. And it was life for me. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. Um, And even today, my kids are older. They're 12, 10, 10, and 8. I still need that time away. I can get it on my own sometimes, but I am willing to have to like – I'm willing to pay if I need to like get, if it's, if it's an important thing, I need to be away for, you know, far distance or for a long amount of time. It is worth it. It is so worth it. It's an investment. It's an investment in your relationship, um, with your family, with your spouse. It's an investment in yourself, (laughs) Um, you know, it's, it's how you make it through, you know, it, it, you know, in a healthy way, I think just getting time away. So for sure. Um, and this can be also, if your thing is to go out with your husband or, you know, your spouse, that's great. Use the babysitter time for that. But also I would just encourage you, um, to make it for yourself too. For sure. Now, a cheaper version of this would be, you know, who if you're asking your spouse for this, they set up a system, you know, for you with grandparents or with friends. Or I remember when our kids were younger, Angela, too, we had like a babysitter co-op where, yep. you know, we traded off babysitting and we got boi- yep. points for it and stuff. But um, that's less of a gift, I would say. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, even if the your spouse like set up, up a, you know something with another family where you yeah. aren't doing all the work to figure out the babysitting situation um mm-hmm. it uh it is priceless yeah I have to say I remember I'm remembering back now you're causing me to remember when mm-hmm. my oldest was I'm thinking like almost a year or under a year I was mm-hmm. in ECFE class which is like 
mommy and me kind of babies yep. baby class or whatever mm-hmm. didn't know anybody but there was another mom there who after probably like half the class time we started talking and I said I like really need to get out and she was like me too do you want to switch <laughs> <laughs> and I like barely knew her <laughs> but we set this up and um so every Thursday afternoon um, either I would bring my daughter to her house or she would bring her son to my house. And we did this for like a year, probably. Wow. And I loved it so much. And I just, I like kind of chuckle because I think we were both just like really wanting this, but needing <laughs> like, um, you know, needing it so badly that we yes. were willing to like go out of our comfort zone and tell like an almost stranger that we yeah <laughs> wanted to set this up. Anyway, I'm so grateful for that. Another thing that I've done is my sister and I... My sister lives locally and we've done um, like weekend swaps where like we'll take mm. her kids for the weekend or she How takes my awesome. kids for the weekend. Yes. And that's been really great too because yeah. kids get to play with their cousins. And yeah. I don't know, at the age my kids are at now, it's not that big of a deal to have They're cousins over memories. for the weekend. Yeah. 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 So. Oh yeah, totally. And as much as we think, well, my kids are older, I don't need to take this time away anymore. It's not intense like it was when they were little. Yeah. We, you do, you do, you need the, you need the time, you need the time. So, and if you can get, you know, if this is on your list and you're getting this as a gift, that means, you know, the gift giver plans it for the most part, you know? So like, make sure that (laughs) really happens. Yeah. (laughs) Just, it's so easy to take these things back on ourselves. Oh, I got this gift of like switching, um, babysitting with, my sister or whatever yeah and then you get this gift and then you're like you know what I'll just take care of it (laughs) it's gonna be easier but it's it'd be great if you know you can kind of take your hands out of it and just let it let it happen yes (sighs) all right I think good list for us huh that's great yeah this is a good list (laughs) (laughs) this is what we've got this is our top stuff yep Mm -hmm. Well, like I said before, if you, we'll have links to all of these in our show notes. Yep. And if they are, if they can be found on Amazon, they'll be in our Amazon store. So you can just click that one link and find them. Yep. And just remember to um, just remember yourself this holiday season. For sure. And you don't have to get all the things. Don't you know? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be selfish. It's just to remember, you know, that you are important and you, um, you deserve good things. You deserve it. Yep. You deserve okay. it. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Homeschool Unrefined is created and produced by Marin Gorse and Angela Sizer. Ethan Miller is our editor, and Amanda Ginn is our VP of all the important things.